Alrighty. So I accidentally updated my world. I was I wasn't planning on updating all of this to 1.21, the newest update, because it's not supported with a lot of features that I like to use. However, I accidentally launched the game at 1.21. I had no idea and I loaded the world. It did give me any message, so I had no idea. So now I'm stuck in 1.21 with unsupported features and I can't revert it. Otherwise, I would lose every item I have in this game. It removes every single item that you have, including all the items in your chests, all the items in a chest that's in the nether, all your inventory space, everything would be removed if I reverted it back. So I'm not gonna do that, which means I'm stuck. Welcome back to another episode. Um, <laughs> I made something. This is a little mining trip that I did. I decided to go mining because I, I don't know. I miss mining. I haven't mined in so long. I've just kind of put it off. I didn't really have a need for diamonds or really coal or iron. I don't really need any of that stuff. So I haven't been mining, but I've missed it. I really like to go mining. It's so calm, especially when you have like music playing in the background and just relaxing. Like I just, I love that. So I decided to go mining and I have a little pillar here. Now that's not the crazy part. The part is, I accidentally, I, I missed the shulker. I have two shulkers and I filled both of them up pretty much plus the inventory space. And uh, I completely forgot about the second shulker. So when I built this little pillar, I still had the other shulker full of stuff. So I have an additional 58 diamonds, a bunch of coal, iron, gold, and redstone. Now I did collect the, I did collect iron, even though I really don't need it because I have an iron farm. I just wanted to collect everything I can because like I said, I really enjoy mining. So I don't know if I want to get rid of this. I don't really, <laughs> it's not the prettiest thing. I don't really know what I did with it. I just kind of plopped stuff down and that's what it came out. So I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen last episode, I did some major updates to the house. You can probably tell if you missed that episode, the house is now green. You might be a little confused. So go watch that episode. I did a ton of work. Now at the end of the episode, you can see a little bit of a like showcase of everything that I've done, but I accidentally revamped this building. So I put an entirely new roof on. I updated the bottom to mud and add a little texture with some diorite. I think that's what it's called. And uh, just, some, just some overall details, which I think came out so much better. The old roof was just a plop down. I didn't actually put any detail which is how a lot of the videos started on this series. I'd build one thing and I just didn't come back and finish it as well as this. So this was like so plain since like episode two. It's been like this for like over three weeks, four weeks. So I finally decided to finish the detail. I got I got all of this done. I was like, I just got to finish all the detail. I haven't finished this detail. We're just going to ignore that. Ignore that right there. Um, so this is a little trophy room. I don't really have much trophies and that's a new painting behind me. Is that a, someone riding a horse? So I want to try and get maybe a horse, which would be kind of cool. And I would love to get pandas. I love I I've only collected pandas one time and I had to drag them like 20,000 blocks. And it was the most painful experience I've ever had. With that being said, I would actually kind of like to bring them over again and uh, maybe even use another this time. That time I just dragged them in boats and uh, yeah, it wasn't fun. Now, if you come over here, I made a sheep farm. It's actually doing really good. I decided to leave this guy yellow and then I converted this guy back to white. So I <laughs> I got all these guys for no reason, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, so let's go get work on a few things. Done. Okay, so now I got every single tool and piece of armor netherite. So now let's move on to the next project, which will be Taming some pets. Okay, so now that I got a little bit of food so I can travel safely, let's go ahead and so I'm gonna hope, really, really hope that there's pandas in this jungle that I'm going to because I'm banking on it. I really want a panda. Look at all this bamboo. There's no pandas in it. Are you? Oh, panda! 
I found a panda. Found a panda. Okay. So now, oh, there's two of them. Beautiful. How do I get them back? I mean, I can do a boat. So I already have wood. So let's make two of these. You wanna get in the boat? Oh, look at that. What are you doing? Does that mean I gotta create a new nether portal? Or can I like... How do I get you guys back? That's a view. My God. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay, got some obsidian. Now it's time to go back and see if those little rascals are still there. What the heck? Would you look at that? Just two little... Do you have lipstick on? Huh. All right, well, we got one. Now let's take him in. Oh, he was suffocating. I didn't realize that we would go in instantly. Okay. First trip. I picked up a friend. <laughs> Move! Oh, I can see the end of the line. I've been doing this for like an hour. I am so ready to finish this. I'm not... Oh, that guy just spawned there. I am not going back for the second one until I get this full of ice. It's not happening. This took way too long. I've been sitting here bored out of my mind. <laughs> just for this little one panda. Uh, why are you in front of me again? New issue. Okay, buddy, let's go. Okay, so now I need to go... Desperately need to get rockets, because I won't make it if I don't. I gotta go find some ice. I gotta go find an ice mine. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> let's toss some more in here. Not only do I need to get more rockets, I need to fix my pickaxe and get more food. Hello. I'm surprised he's still here. He's been sitting here for like, yeah, he's in bamboo. Let me back in. He's been sitting here for like three hours. Uh, let's go. Please don't suffocate on the way over. Okay, so here we go. We finally have. The two pandas. See, this one doesn't have lipstick. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I make a cute couple. I'm obviously not going to leave them directly in my house. So I need to figure out where I want to build a little panda sanctuary building. So I, I think it'd be really cool if I put a village surrounding and right in the center is a little glass bowl that has the two pandas and I think they'd be kind of cool so make their own like completely separate little sanctuary thing I think they could be kind of cool so in order to do that I need to one seriously make up my mind where I want to put it either there or there uh, I just have no clue okay so here we go. We have a little bit of an area. I had to patch a massive cave right here. Um, there's obviously isn't enough space. I'm going to have to remove all of those trees, most likely, and cut back quite a bit other trees. But I want to go ahead and just start with the panda exhibit thing. I want it to be kind of upright and center and just have houses around it uh, for the villagers to live in. Now, I'm probably going to do houses all the way up here. I'll maybe even have like a little fishing hut for them and I think that could be kind of cool. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I think it'd be kind of cool. I might even do a little statue for them as like the center mascot of the uh, the little village. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. I think I'm going to, I guess, probably do the statue first. Okay, 
Uh, <laughs> I think that's big enough. So these are the feet. Those are going to be the top feet. Um, I still got to make the square. I, I was going to go down with it, but if, you, if I feel like I don't think I can go down, I think I have to go up. Otherwise, it's going to look really, really short. But I think this height here is a good torso and obviously the head. But like this thing's massive. I wasn't expecting to make such a huge panda statue. Huh. <laughs> That's starting to look kind of like a panda. I think I need to move the nose out. <laughs> Doesn't look quite good. I think this is starting to look pretty nice. I am slowly running out. I've already used, oh, I don't even know, like a good 15 stacks of stone so far to make this. It's a, it's a lot. It's a, it's a panda. It is a panda. It looks, honestly, it looks pretty decent. Um, once it has more detail to it, I think it'll look quite nice, including the detail of its stomach that I still haven't done. I've almost used all of my stone. I've used like 25 plus stacks on this. So detailing this with uh, with wool is definitely going to be a project that uh, I'm not a rush to build. Okay, here we go. It looks pretty, you know, I, I, I like the look of it. I like the look of it. Obviously the center here, the stomach is supposed to be more of the pattern that's on the panda, but it doesn't quite look right. It looks too blobby, um, if, if that makes sense. So it needs to be fixed. It looks too chaotic. I need to just kind of tighten up a little bit, but I think it looks really good. I got some black in the eyes. I even added a little bit of tough and white and it looks pretty good. It looks like actual eyes. Now, obviously I, the ears gotta be black, the, the hands and the legs, the arms, the a lot of that stuff needs to be black. Um, I might honestly just leave the black in, but not actually do any of the white to the panda because that would take a lot of a lot of wool. And I don't actually don't mind the look of the stone. I think it looks kind of cool. If I can do a cool pattern that blends really well between the tough and the andesite, I think that looks really nice. Okay, so we have a good chunk of the panda here completed. I actually really like the way that it turned out. Yeah, there's a little bit more detail. I only have two stacks, just about under two stacks of black wool on me, and it's taken forever to get this black wool. So the pandas typically have some sort of like design going down like this, and I think it crosses around their back. I'm not quite sure. Let me go look at the panda. Yeah, see how it goes down. So it'd probably be, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks maybe, and then it'll start going down. And there's a little bit of a design on their on their butt. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, so this is the panda pretty much done. I just need to add a little bit extra details with some patterns with the andesite, but I'll add that a little bit later because I need to get started on getting some green, I think, terracotta. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to make it look like he's holding bamboo. Now, I shortened the hand a little bit and I'm trying to curve it around the bamboo. I think I need to simply extend it just a little bit. I've never actually built anything like this, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little bit of a struggle to figure out the shape of everything. Not too bad. I think I'll come back and fix it once. I'm just going to extend the bamboo down a little bit. Make it look like it has a nice big tasty treat. <laughs> it looks okay. The hand once again still looks kind of messed up. I need to make it a little bit better looking. Yeah, that's starting to look a little better. I think I'm going to leave it for now. I only have two wool left and I have no more green concrete or terracotta. But I think that's, I think that should be a long enough length, you know, of bamboo. I think I might actually just make real bamboo <laughs> instead of, I was going to make giant structures of the fake bamboo the same like this, but I feel like that would, I don't know, maybe take forever, but let's just start doing some, why do I keep hearing zombies? Okay. So we have a little, little rock here. I put some moss on it and bone mealed it and it looks pretty good. Uh, here is a little pond. 
I know we can put bone meal under the sea to add a little bit of seagrass and stuff like that. But I'm curious if you can put bone meal in here. Oh, you can. Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, yeah. Not too much. I think that's perfect. I honestly think that's a perfect amount. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. I don't think the pandas will go in here and drown. I'm really hoping that they won't come in here and drown. Maybe I should build a giant name tag. It says his name on the name. That would be cool. I don't know if I want to do that. That's too much work. Oh, that'd be a cool idea, though. Imagine just like a giant name tag. Okay, so this is the design that I kind of came up with. I think once this is done, I'm going to add one little tiny piece of log up there, which I will probably strip it and most likely add fences or gates going across as the extra little detail to it. But I think that should be should be pretty OK. My helmet looks so big on my head. Uh, I look like I got a tiny little head. OK, so now if we just simply break them out the way that we brought them in. OK, so we have the pandas. Uh, OK, there's one. Oh, there's two. OK. Looking good. What are you doing? Oh, my. Careful you roll there. OK, guys, so this is kind of what I have done for now. I need to figure out entrance areas for this place, but I mean, if I need to get in, obviously I just fly or <laughs> did it got in. <laughs> These guys don't seem to do much. They just this one's sat still rolling in place. And then I don't know where the other guy is. Where are you at? Is he still over there rolling around? I think so. As you can see, I put a lot of, yep, just tumbling down the hill. You're not stuck, are you? It'll be fine. Uh, I added some some trees, some uh, yeah, grass. Pretty much made it more of a panda style exhibit thingy, my bubber. Uh, and then I added this little cave because it was raining, and I figured maybe they want to get out of the the wetness, so they have a little a little home in there. Um, and then this obviously is completely hollow. Nothing really in here. This would make a cool chest room. So that is all that I have for this. There's still a lot more work that needs to be done in this area. I got to blend it in somehow to a village, but I think this turned out really, really cool. I, I really enjoy the look of this. The panda, it could, you know, it could, it could have been a little bit better. It looks more like a teddy bear than a panda bear. I think the face should have been a little bit uh, chubbier and it would have been pretty good, but uh, <laughs> they seem to they seem to enjoy it. They're happy. I'm happy. Thank you guys for watching.